Here we go guys, uh, my first tutorial. So this one is going to be like unedited because um, I'm just learning how to do this. So we're gonna need some white paint, some black paint, and some uh, red paint. But if you don't wanna use the red paint, that's okay. You can change it for any color that you want. So I'm just gonna put some white on here and some black to start and that's it. Okay, so about out like that okay so I'm gonna use my larger brush I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna use my paper towel to blot out most of the water and then I'm gonna load up my brush with mostly black a little bit of white and strangely enough if you know me well you know that I usually start on top, but I'm not going to today. I'm gonna to start at the bottom. So I'm just painting straight across. You can do the sides too. I'm not going to. So a little bit of black, a little bit of white, mostly black. So now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to not wash it. I'm going to take most of the paint off with my paper towel. And then I'm just going to load up in the white. And then I'm going to paint the sky with the residue. Of the gray, of the black. Um, I'm gonna load up a little bit of black, but not too off, not too much. This is a 11 by 14 uh, canvas. Gonna continue like that. Um, I am going to mostly, without cleaning my brush, load up with white from now on as I get closer to the horizon line. I do want to blend it just a little bit with that black at the bottom to just to make it look foggy. So I'm just gently going over the whole canvas. I'm going to add a few areas of just white and I'm just gonna go sort of like in an X shape I just don't like those straight across um, her, uh, the, the lines that go straight across from side to side don't have to fuss over the background too much. We are going to be covering it up with a tree, most of it. I'm going to do a couple of streaks up here. Dark, just black. It's still wet so it's blending well. Just wanted to add a little bit more drama. I'm 
I'm just gently touching the canvas. Next, I'm going to take the medium brush. So I'm going to pull out the tiny one too at the same time. Uh, medium. I like the angle brushes, but you use whatever you feel comfortable with. So again, I'm going to wet that and use my paper towel to blot off most of it. I'm just going to. Um, go into the straight into the black paint and again I'm just gonna like pull most of that paint off with the paper towel most of it so we just have a little like kind of like a dry brush so I'm just gonna go across um, just some lines here for a fence not really giving it much thought to it and I'm going to put some cross pieces. Just like that. Now I'm going to draw the tree. Actually, I'm just gonna put a little bit more white here. A little bit more white. You can go up a little higher if you want with the, um, the ground. tree. I'm going to load up my brush. I'm not cleaning it. I'm going to pretty much just put white paint on it and I'm going to start the trunk um, in not in the center but a little bit off to the left and a little bit of an angle. I usually start with the thicker part of the branch or trunk. I usually start at that end. So I pretty much am just loading up with the white and that is, you know, because I have some leftover on my brush, it's making a gray. I'm letting the brush go wherever it wants to go actually so I'm not trying too hard to make um, an exact um, branch I'm not trying too hard just letting it do its thing wiggling the brush around a little bit most of this will be hidden My gray was getting pretty white, so I just added a little bit of black. So I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm in the grays now. This side of the tree, the left side, is going to be um, lighter, and we can work on that later. The underside is going to be darker, we can also add that later. I can do a little bit now though. just adding a little bit of the roots um, I'm gonna add a couple of little dots on my tree so I'm just gonna I just put only black on my brush and I'm just gonna tap a few dots here and there just to give it a little bit of character
also, since I have um, some black, here I'm just going to do like um, the letter M. Mm -hmm. I feel like this brush might be too thick. Just going to use my little brush and I'm going to add a tiny bit of water to this black. Tiny bit of water and I'm just going to do like the letter M. A few birds randomly whatever you can do as many as you want so I have way more paint than I needed see you can put a lot less than what I just did so I'm gonna grab the red now and I'm gonna put um, about this much red in here and now I'm going to take this black put it in here and this red here mix it together it's gonna make a very dark like a burgundy something like the shirt that I'm wearing a little bit more red So now, if you have an old brush that's kind of fluffy, or if you have um, just a small brush, you can just use a small brush. Um, I am going to start with this burgundy, and I'm just going to randomly put some anywhere that I want, all over. And it's kind of nice if you let it run out, and you just tap gently gently all over let it run out you don't want to have too much paint on your brush and even if you don't have branches here you can give the illusion that you have branches here we'll go ahead and we'll add more branches later at the end you're not going to see most of these branches so don't worry about making them perfect I know a lot of people hate making uh, trees for this reason. Sorry, our boiler makes a lot of noise. I'm in the basement, so I don't make a mess all over my house anymore. But I finally cleaned out our basement. Well, it's not really clean, but we finally got our basement emptied out. I had a lot of stuff. My daughter's stuff, my parents' stuff, all their furniture. Daughter couldn't bring everything with her. To Germany so I guess this week she's been gone she's been living there for five years already and she's the one that you are in contact with when you register sorry I have an old creaky house
doesn't look too good right now, but just wait until you add the darker and the lighter on here. Hopefully my husband doesn't come looking for me because I didn't tell him I was doing this and I don't really want to start over. I should have probably warned him. Okay, so now I'm going to take this burgundy paint and I'm going to make a much darker color. So I added more black to it. Now I'm going to do this section over here. And I'm doing, I'm painting a pretty heavy over here. So doing this live would have been a lot more fun because I would have been able to interact with y'all. I don't know why I said y'all. My daughter won't let me live that one down but I will try again so now we've got the inner part of the tree Doesn't look too nice right now still, right? Now I'm gonna just, without cleaning my brush again, I'm just gonna load up with red and I'm gonna start tapping red all over. Mostly on top. Keeping myself busy as usual. Except I miss our classes. And so hopefully you guys um, can go ahead and paint this and then maybe post them underneath the video maybe. It would be nice to see how your paintings look they turned out or if you have any questions the tire was a last-minute thought the tire swing so you can see I'm leaving this under part this dark part I'm not going to cover that I'm only going to cover it in some areas but I'd like to keep a lot of that dark part so it looks like it's like shadows in the shadow, shadows of the tree. It's coming together. bright red. You can do this any color you want. Probably looks really nice with the turquoise. Any color really. Just as long as you um, make four shades. You're gonna need four shades of this. I just make them as I go though. We got one more shade coming up. bit more of the dark coloring here.
kind of have a side angle. I'm not sure what it looks like. I guess I'll look at the video and I'll be able to tell. I'm putting the dark on the underside. Pretty full. So there's a lot of foliage in this tree. As I'm running out of paint, I'm just doing the edges just because I want those leaves to appear a lot lighter or tinier, just tiny little pieces, tiny little leaves left over. So you notice I'm not loading, just going around. Next, I'm going to take my brush, wipe it down again with this paper towel. I have some red left over. I'm going to make, I've got some white left over, some red. I'm going to make a light pink with my red and white. And now I'm going to just do a few highlights. Just a few, right on top, mostly on top here. So it looks like the light is hitting. Let's do a few here. Oh, I forgot, I have some on the ground here, on the ground. So, any color, any of like the red, the burgundy. So I'm just kind of like just doing tiny little horizontal lines here and there. Whichever color you want, the pink, the burgundy, just barely skimming the brush on there. And then what's a good, a good idea would also be um, take your brush, put a little bit of black on there, not a lot, and then just underneath your um, leaves that are on the ground, just do like a little, a little dash underneath each leaf. leaf and it'll ground, it'll look like a little shadow. Don't put a lot of paint on your brush. It's a lot easier to control when you have a little bit. Tiny little dash. OK, 
Okay, so I also put a tiny little, you can, you know, use your, probably your small brush for this. I'm just gonna do a highlight underneath, on, sorry, on top of the, this, um, the roots maybe that are the tree. And also, with the black paint, just a little bit of paint right underneath, you know, the little part that's between the roots, you want to darken that little section too. So I'm just putting a little bit of black there. I'm going to use my finger to smear that so it gives it some depth, right? And then we're going to do a little bit of a shadow underneath here. Uh, I'm just going to do like a little, oh, it got a little bit of pink in there. It looks good though. Uh, I'm going to darken these branches in here inside because it would be dark in there. Also, with my little brush, I'm just going to add a few um, branches here and there. Just little dashes here and there. I think I'm gonna highlight this tree a little bit. So I added, uh, I didn't clean my brush. I put some white on here on this brush and I'm just gonna go at the top. I might be losing my little marks that I made on my tree, but that's okay, I can put them back. And I will do that right now. Add a few of those little dots to give my tree character. And you know what? I'm gonna add a branch right over here because I feel like it needs one. And that'll be the branch that the uh, tire swing is on. Okay, and I think I'm going to add another one. I'm just doing black paint, but it might be a little bit gray. There you go. I'm going to put a little highlight. A little white highlight here on the branch. And now I am going to just draw with my little brush. Uh, I've got black and white left on my brush here because I didn't clean it. And I'm just gonna like go for it, do like a straight line. Um, that is a, lo a little bit thicker than I want it to be. And I'll just show you how to make that line a little bit um, thinner. So I just used a clean brush. I grabbed a clean brush. I have clean water here. See, clean water. I'm going to um, dip my water in that clean brush, take the excess water off, and I'm just going to take some of this paint off. So it can make my um, rope thinner. There's a little trick for you guys. Wish somebody would have taught me that a long time ago. So you can um, erase a lot of mistakes as long as your background is dry. This is dry and this is wet, I can take it off. But if it was still wet, you would have taken your background off. So now I'm just gonna do my tire. Um, my tire is gonna be down here, so I'm just doing a circle. If you want, with your tiny little brush, you can do um, 
going to do a little bit of the rope on the tire because it's tied around the tire. And I think I'm also going to put a little bit of a white highlight here. There and there. And if you make a mistake, it's okay because you can just repaint it black like I'm doing right now. There. Okay, guys. I don't know. You can just add a few more highlights and dark areas. I hope I did okay for my first time without editing. You know, try not to make too many mistakes. I'm sorry that my live idea didn't work out. I think I would like to try that again. Um, hopefully y'all like my painting or painting and I'd love to see yours. Here's the finished piece and comment and show me what you've done. Take care guys. Bye.